we're going to use the class database to show you how to create a table, create a relationship between two tables, how to create forms, including a simple form and a master detail form. This will help you to solve question 12 in assignment 2. And certainly the assignment 2 is using the North Swing database. We're using the class database once again. Let's get started with the first task, which is create a new table. We choose create, choose table design. This is the table design view, which allowed us to enter new columns in a new table. So I'm going to say major ID text data type, let's say by character for the major. We're going to create a second column, just the name for the major. Major end up to be a reserved word, so we cannot just call this column major. Access has some problem with that. The data type, here we're showing different possible data type for a column. If you choose number, there are some subtypes that you can choose from, like integer, long integer, single position, double position, decimal point, etc. Here, the name of the major is still a text data type, and the size of it, let's say 30. Once you have done that, we can create um, the primary key for the table. Primary key can be a single column, or multiple column. In this case, major ID, the single column is the primary key. Highlight it, click primary key icon on the toolbar. You see this little key icon in front of this column indicating this key is used as a primary key for this table. We can save the table by clicking this icon for saving. We'll call it major. So the major table has been saved. We can switch to the data sheet view to enter data in this table. Let's say MIS. Let's say major. The name of the major is called Management Information Systems. Accounting is another major. And we enter the name for the major. So that's just two record for now. And we're done with it. We can close this table. Save the layout. The next text is to create a relationship between the table major and the table student. In, in our scenario, a student can have only one major, but a major can have many students who claim this particular major. So we'll go to database tool, choose relationship. We have the student table here. The major table was just created. In order to display that, we say show table, click right mouse button, and say show table, choose major over here. However, in order to connect the student to the major, we need to add a column in the student table as a foreign key pointing to the major table where it serves as a primary key. Okay. We, I click right mouse button and jump right into the table design for the student table. If you scroll down, this is the last, at the end of the last column, I'm going to just type major ID and define text 
The primary key in the major table for the major ID is five character in length. So we're going to have the same length and the same data type. So we finished defining the foreign key in the student table for the student's major. Close it. Save the change. Right now, this student table has a major ID. I can connect this two together. I can enforce data integrity. It shows one to many, which means one major has many students, and each student has only one major. This finished actually the definition and the creation of a new relationship here between a major, the major table, and the student table. So let's close it, save the layout. The next text is to create a form, a simple form which allowed us to enter one record at a time for a table. So I'll do create, create a form. I'm going to use the form wizard. You can choose a table or even a query. And then select all the column, some of the column under this table or query to create a form. I can select one column at a time or I can select all the column, and that's the case. So I'm going to continue and to create a form. There are several form layout options. Columnar means one record at a time as a data entry form. Tabular data sheet justify are basically allowed us to show multiple record in the spreadsheet type of format. So in this case, we want columnar, and we just choose the default style and give this form a name. We can call it major or just a major form. Finish. So this is the form which has the major. Okay. And I can go to the next record, previous record, last record, and I can create a new record, for instance, FIN or Finance. You can switch back, MIS, Accounting. Okay. okay, so this data entry form is done. In order to 